you need that type of ad that they cannot stop. They stop in their tracks when they're scrolling the news feed. What's happening guys? So Nate back here and this video we are talking about how do you prime a brand new pixel? I get so many people asking me all the time, hey, I got a brand new pixel, I have no data. Do I really optimize for purchase right away? Don't you think it's better for view content? Don't you think it's better I should do added cart? Well, let me tell you a little bit about my perspective on this. This is what a lot of people don't understand and why I, maybe this video will help you clear up some confusion, right? So the first thing I wanna tell you, is yes, a pixel with a lot more data is going to help you. Hands down, it does. So if you have a brand new pixel, you are at a disadvantage. With that being said, what do you do to actually overcome that disadvantage? Let me tell you this, okay? So I just went through a brand new pixel on my app ad account. I have a brand new ad account, brand new pixel, brand everything. And when I started that, yes, it's not optimizing purchases, but I'm optimizing for app installs, right? So people that actually ha already have a Shopify store, people that are willing to install my app, I'm optimizing for that. Now that is a further down the funnel event than, hey, come and visit my, my Facebook group or come and visit my landing page or opt in into my email list, right? I mean, I've tested this so many times with normal convert, uh, e-commerce ads, and I just tested this again with the app scenario. And when you have an, an audience match with a product, or in my case right now, an app, right? And the audience actually resonates with that and, and it's a winning product, it's a winning design, it's a winning, it's a winning ad, right? When that happens, the event, the conversion event, does not matter. It does not matter. In the first 30, 50 sales or whatever of a brand new product, let's talk about e-com, right? If you have a brand spanking new product and no pixel data at all, and it's an actually a good product, it's an, a winner, it's a super winner, right? It doesn't matter the event that you choose. You can have click through website, view content, you can have whatever, you can have PPE ads, it wouldn't matter. It's a freaking good winning design, which is your goal. You want to find those, right? It's gonna sell no matter what. Now, it's gonna sell up until a certain point, and then in, the pixel's gonna have to use its data in order to find additional people. But for that first 30 plus sales, it's gonna sell, doesn't matter. It, let me tell you this, this does not work if you are copying someone else's design and just trying to sell it, right? So that guy, the other guy that's already has that product, right? Or let's say you're doing AliExpress drop shipping, right? And not, you're not even print on demand. And you find a hot winning product on one of your spy tools and you're saying, oh, this keychain looks like it's selling hot or this uh, charcoal toothpaste is selling hot or the face mask, whatever, I don't know. Oh, that's selling hot. Let me jump on that train. Let me sell that stuff too. It's gonna be way harder for you because you're late to the market, you're not first. So when you're not first, you're double screwed because you have no pixel data and you're late to the party. So, I mean, it makes it exponentially harder. And this is why so many people are failing and having trouble because they have no data and they're trying to promote the same stuff that other people have. If you are in print and demand, right, you have to have a freaking winning, winning design if you have no pixel data. You need that super winner right off the bat to take off. You need something unique that people haven't seen before. Either that's a product or that's a design and you need to come into a market and show the audience something they've never seen before and let them resonate with that, make it a super winner and pop sales and it doesn't matter what the conversion event you choose is. That is your goal and that's why I always say start with purchase, right? Because if you have that winning design, if you have that winning product right away, the, the event doesn't matter. So why wouldn't you start with purchase? If, if it's gonna sell no matter the event, start with purchase and that's gonna help you even more because boom, you're gonna make sales and then it's gonna, it's gonna kick in right away and then you don't have to change anything after 30 sales or after if it started with PPE and it started making sales on PPE and then it would die out because it's not optimizing for sales, it's optimizing for 
uh, engagement. It would make a couple sales, 20, 30 sales, and then it would stop converting and would lose you money. So if you start with purchase, that's not gonna happen. It's just gonna get better as you get more sales. So that's why I always say start with purchase, find that super winning product, and now you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to start from, you don't have to restart something because whatever, what, whatever's gonna happen is if you have a view content ad and it and have a winning product, and you start making sales, then you try to duplicate that into a con purchase conversion. Now you, you've already touched parts of that audience with your view content ad. Now it's not 100% unique or you new anymore. And that's the key to really get a, a product to just super scale super fast and like, really optimize is when you have that new audience with that new product they haven't seen before. So even you yourself can tap into an audience, have a little bit of banner blindness, and then when you start that purchase ad, it's not gonna work nearly as well as if you just started with purchase in the first place. Because you can start with a purchase ad and you can get, with no pixel data, you can get $2 sales, $3 sales, if the product is good. And that's what you wanna do. Now with view content, you're gonna get all this flood of traffic and you're gonna get some sales here and here and there, um, or maybe not in any, I don't know. I mean, it really depends on the product and how good it is. If, you, if it's already a product that's been promoted before or it's not a super winning product, I mean, view content's not gonna do anything for you. It's just gonna waste your money. You're gonna get cheap clicks, but you're not even gonna get any added carts. It's not good. So my advice is when you have brand new Pixel, work your ass off and test and test and test using my formula, the PPE testing, uh, and look for the, the, the super winning number status and only launch designs that like you are so confident in, you love the design and the numbers uh, back it up. The PPE testing numbers say, yes, this is a winning design, let's put this on WC. And how do you know? That's like, I know I say five cents, but like super winning, like two cents. Two cents cost per engagement, 10 plus link clicks on PPE. So that's like super winner status. That's what you're looking for when you are testing. Now, yeah, you can, my, my normal rules are five cents and at least two link clicks, but the more link clicks you have and the lower cost per engagement, the better. So do a lot of testing. Don't be afraid to spend money on tests. As soon as you find that super winner, as soon as you find that design that they cannot have, like they have to have, they cannot leave your, your ad without clicking the link. They have to go check that page out. They have to go see how much it really costs, what's, what, if there's any shipping charges. They gonna need to investigate. Maybe they're gonna make this buying decision. You need that type of ad that they cannot stop. They stop in their tracks when they're scrolling the newsfeed. If you're wondering whether you are supposed to start with purchase and you have no data, that's the wrong question. The right question is, do you have a product that can support no pixel at all? Can it sell without a pixel? If you say yes to that, then you're ready to actually promote with WC. If you don't say yes to that, you still need to test. You need to test a lot longer because your job is to find those and they're not easy to find. And yes, it's gonna cost money. And I don't need to hear you bitch about you spent $100 or 100 euro testing and you got no results. It's business. You have to spend money to make money and this is part of the process. This is why it's a process. It's because you do your testing and then you move into the, the, the selling phase. If you skip the testing phase, I can't help you and you're gonna fail or you're not gonna get the results you want. So you need to spend way more attention on, pre on design, prep, research, and actual testing of designs before you're even ready to start selling. And if you have no pixel data, you need to spend extra time on the testing and the research and the design process because you need those super winners. So that's my thoughts. That's what I'm gonna give you today uh, about new pixels. Probably not what you wanna hear, but it's the truth. And uh, this is you know over a million and a half dollars of ad spend this past year on Facebook ads. So I think I know what I'm talking about a little bit maybe. I hope you're listening to me. And uh, guys, take this advice and I will see you in the next video.